My name is Ryan Adams. I am head of research at Twitter Cortex and also an assistant professor of computer science in the Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at Harvard University. Uh, I study machine learning and computational statistics, and, uh, and I recently sold uh, a startup, Wet Lab, uh, to, uh, to Twitter. I just gave a talk on some works by some of my great students, uh, Dougal McLaurin and Elaine Angelino, as well as some other collaborators, on trying to think about how to scale up Bayesian inference. And in particular, talking about Markov Chain Monte Carlo and how we might do Markov Chain Monte Carlo when we have really big, uh, really big data sets on problems like uh, predicting the properties of new molecules and, and other things. about lots of things. I mean, I think the, the big data story is not about the data, it's about the science and the different kinds of questions we want to, we want to answer. I think what large data sets lets, lets us do, they let us, uh, they let us answer actually more subtle questions. The idea is that we ask big questions of big data, but I, I think actually that's not true. They allow us to disambiguate the finest kind of details in the data, and, and the big questions are those we can answer even with, some, even with, uh, even with small data sets. And so, um, and there's a lot of different ways that it can be big. It could be you know, large N and large P, as well as I think a, a kind of a third regime that's, in, that's less studied in some ways, which is sort of large modeling type regime. So we have complicated interactions between latent variables that we want to estimate. So think about problems like, I don't know, astronomy, where the actual systems we're trying to simulate there's, are, are huge and they also have physics that we want to understand. And a lot of the modeling and the kind of big data effort goes into trying to understand those, uh, understand those interactions.